Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday to all of you. Friends, I have breaking news for you today. President Biden has just confirmed what his decision is on the next executive order. Top lawmakers in Congress have proposed a new plan that would help millions of seniors. Social Security recipients could notice a slight change of their benefit checks this month. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn how these changes could affect you. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Remember friends that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. And the next giveaway is scheduled for tomorrow. So please listen for the keywords in each video and enter them in the comment section below. Without running into a help wanted sign. Normally, this would be an indicator of a successful economic comeback. But here's the problem. Those signs are just not working. Not for retail or restaurants or I, even for the industrial sector with small business manufacturing. Some business are getting so desperate for help that they're offering signing bonuses worth hundreds of dollars to anyone willing and able to come back to work. Madam President, all year we've used a particular catchphrase to encourage people to get their vaccinations. We've said that we could only get shots in arms, then we could get back to normal. Well, as it turns out, that was step one. We are getting the shots in arms. People are getting vaccinated. Now, it's time for step two, and that is getting people back to work, getting them to fill these jobs. And I've said time and again, I'll say it again. The best economic stimulus there is, the very best economic stimulus there is, is a job. It's a job. This holds true, not just for those pulling in a paycheck, but for the businesses who are hiring. My Democratic colleagues, many of them disagree with me on this point, but I firmly believe the best economic stimulus is a job. So friends, here is a big update on Social Security benefits. Social Security provides monthly benefits to millions of retired seniors. Some of those seniors depend on the program for the bulk of their income. That has proven to be a problematic thing this year. Although Social Security recipients received a generous 5.9% raise going into 2022, at this point, the rate of inflation is far outpacing that boost. That means that seniors who live mostly on Social Security are losing buying power even at a time when they're sitting on a higher raise. But that's not the only issue with depending heavily on Social Security. In the future, Social Security may have to cut benefits to the tune of 20% due to a revenue shortfall. That may leave many seniors in the lurch. In the next coming years, Social Security expects to owe more in benefits than it collects in revenue. And that is due largely to an anticipated mass exodus of baby boomers from the workforce. Friends, the good news is that Social Security has trust funds it can tap into to keep up with the scheduled benefits. But once those trust funds run out of money, benefit cuts will be back on the table. Meanwhile, the Social Security trustees recently released their 2022 report, and it projects that the program's trust funds will run out of money in the year 2034. From there, Social Security may have to slash benefits by 20% unless our lawmakers come up with a solution to address the program's financial shortfalls. But there are already many lawmakers that are working on fixing Social Security. Several Democratic senators have teamed up to propose giving Social Security beneficiaries an extra $200 per month. The plan was put forward by Senators Elizabeth Warren, Chuck Schumer, and Ron Wyden. The extra income would apply to all Social Security, veterans, and supplemental security income or SSI beneficiaries. 
Senator Elizabeth Warren has told CNBC News, Increasing Social Security benefits is the quickest way to get money out the door during an economic crisis. The three senators have not confirmed how they would offset the cost of the increased benefits in their plan. Now, friends, according to a new Wall Street Journal report, the Biden administration is unlikely to announce a decision on student loan forgiveness until later this summer. The more than 40 million Americans saddled with student debt have been anxiously awaiting news after President Biden said in May that he would be sharing his plans in the next couple of weeks. The Wall Street Journal stated, that the White House's announcement on forgiveness is likely to come in July or August. Most likely causing the delay is intense deliberation and disagreement between officials on the political and financial factors of canceling billions of dollars in education debt. There is no precedent for such a move. The country's $1.7 trillion outstanding student loan balance outpaces credit card or auto debt and a quarter of borrowers were already behind on their payments prior to the crisis. So friends, should our government cancel student loan debt? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. On the campaign trail, Biden said he was in support of clearing $10,000 from borrowers' accounts. Doing so would cost around $321 billion and completely forgive the loans of about one-third of student loan borrowers. Yet, there's great concern that such an announcement would cause more frustration and disappointment than anything else. The average education debt balance, after all, is three times that at around $30,000. Friends, the key word for this video is dandelion. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then Enter this keyword, which is dandelion, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. As a result, the Senate's top Democrat, Chuck Schumer of New York, along with Senator Elizabeth Warren, and many other Democrats, are pushing the president to cancel at least $50,000 for all student loan bars. Well, my amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Regina Ural. Congratulations, my friend. Please note that if I have named you as the winner, do check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.